My name's Sharana Spicer. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> and well, and welcome to my crib. Yeah. Don't say yeah. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name's Sharana Spicer, and welcome to my crib. Well, as they say, this is where the magic happens. This is where I spend most of my time. Um, whether I'm reading novels, I don't really use this thing. It's just more for show. This you might recognize from my old apartment. Uh, I just ended up repainting the insides and I put shorter legs on it. I think it just looks better. I just got this poof. I think no house is complete without a poof. Well, last apartment was very pink, so when I moved, I kind of swapped out all of the accents and my color now is indigo. So as you can see, we got an indigo rug on top of this jute rug here. This jute rug's from overstock.com. This rug I got from Rugs USA. It was really inexpensive. Smelled like chlorine for about four days, but it's all good now. This table, I used to just have two nesting tables. Really wasn't very welcoming. Couldn't really eat at it and put your feet up and stuff. This I got um, from Hay Needle. Uh, this is a real Carrera marble. Oh, I just got this coffee table book. This is one of my favorite photographers, William Eggleston. Um, check him out on YouTube. Just got this plant. Do you guys remember my old cactus that looked like a penis? You guys just always comment and be like, do you know your cactus looks like a penis? As if like, I don't know what a penis looks like. I've seen plenty of penises. I know what a penis looks like. Um, so I got a new plant because I was sick of you guys um, trolling me. This couch is from Ikea. Uh, I kind of hate it, but all the couches that I want are like $1,200. So not ready for that yet. So I just put this throw, this throws from uh, Target. And then I just put really expensive pillows on it. And um, these are from Block Shop Textiles. Um, it, it, comes, it doesn't come with the cat hair. I added that. I just think it makes it look good. This one also, same place, Block Shop. This is also Ikea. Just a nice little reading light. This is actually the light I leave on for the cats when, I, when Mama goes out. Just got these curtains. So as you can see, I have a lot of windows. I get a lot of light in here. I just got these curtains just for privacy. There's a lot of creepy people in the world and everyone's trying to get a, a look, you know? Uh, so I put these up. They're very sheer, so you can actually still see in. Um, but they look good, you know? They look nice. These are from Target. Okay, yes, the moment you've all been waiting for. I got a new table and chairs. I knew it was gonna happen. You knew it was gonna happen. Uh, if you didn't see my uh, disaster of buying a whole dining set from Ikea and staining it, um, you can click up here because, yeah, it turned out bad. I ended up just throwing that out because I couldn't even sell it on Craigslist. So I got this um, from Wayfair or maybe Hay Needle. I think this is from Hay Needle. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, they all have the same stuff. This is just way better. Got this runner. I love these Turkish bath towels. I got this leaning shelf. I love this thing. This is from Urban Outfitters. I just like putting like some of my more attractive books on it. You know, I got some photography books, rookie yearbook, cactus that doesn't look like a penis, if you ask me. Um, this is from Vietnam. Sorry, can't buy it. You have to go to Vietnam. I have a view. Never had a view before. My last apartment. Someone is trying to escape. No, I probably. <laughs> we all love it here. Don't worry. We love it here. Um, my last apartment, the view was. I wanted everything to feel very like clean, but also lived in. Um, nothing distracting. I don't want to. I didn't want myself or anyone to walk into my apartment and just be like, ah, so many things. Like, I don't know what to look at first. You know, I wanted to bring peace and joy. You know, just a cozy place to kick up your feet and read a novel. Joe. 
Yeah. We're doing the tour. Okay. I'm here. I got it. All right. So, welcome to my house. No, we already did that. Okay. You're not supposed to be up here. I've try I'm trying to train him. It's been about two months now. He is not responding well. This is my kitchen. This is, as they say, where the magic happens. These shelves I put up myself. Pause for applause. And um, they look good. Um, wow, we're doing this again. I love this kitchen. If you remember my old one, I'll put the link up to my old apartment tour. Um, it's a huge upgrade. This is a big deal to me. This is an oven that's new and I use it all the time. My other one didn't even work anymore. It was literally from the 30s. I had a huge toaster oven and that's where I cooked my frozen pizzas. This is where I keep like all my important to do's. Um, this helps me like stay organized, make sure I'm editing on time and doing the podcast on time and anything errands I have to run. So this is where I keep like all my important to do's. Oh, and I love crossing them off when I complete them. So, so if you thought this was narrow, check out this next room. This, as they say, is where the magic happens. Um, door doesn't open all the way because this is where the toilet is. So when I'm, uh, fun fact, when I'm going to the bathroom, I go sideways. I could just shut the door, but then my cats freak out for some reason. They do not like me to be in the bathroom with the door shut. Um, so I leave it open and I just do a little pivot. It's all the same. Bamboo mat, trust me when I say if you want to upgrade your bathroom, get a bamboo mat. I have these more Turkish bath towels. Um, I don't actually use these for anything. I have, these are just decorations. Sometimes I'll dry my hands on them, but really I use the terry cloth ones behind you. I always dry my hand on those. You what? I always dry my hand on these. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Oh my god. These little cuties are from ofakind.com. I don't have a medicine cabinet and I just kind of have this. Normally I'm not a like leave stuff on the sink kind of person, but in this case I think it looks pretty cute. These shelves I actually put up myself. I think it's nicer than having like one of those like etagers like above the toilet like I had before. I put up these shelves and now I have like all of my skincare lined up. Q-tips, all that. Um, I actually stopped using Q-tips. Uh, long story, uh, you're not supposed to use them. <laughs> so I was having ear pain and everything I read was like, don't do, don't use Q-tips. So now I, well, who cares? Toilet paper, uh, I switched over from single ply to whatever this stuff is because I was tired of being bullied from my friends. I like to hide the extra stuff in baskets and stuff. Um, it just looks nicer than just having it like thrown in a drawer somewhere. This is where the magic happens. This is where I sleep. Actually, I just ordered some new sheets, so this is pretty embarrassing. Because by the time you see this, I'm gonna have new sheets. So, I don't even know why we did this, to be honest. Either way, these are from Urban Outfitters. People ask me all the time. Um, this Dubai cover is from H&M. You'd think it'd be a lot less expensive, but it wasn't. <laughs> this is a sheepskin throw that I got off Amazon. I put it by the foot of my bed because um, I think it's nice to get out of bed and put your feet on something nice and soft that feels good. I sleep on that side, so sometimes I get out of bed that morning, in the morning, and then I get back in and I scooch over and I get out on this side because What's the point of getting this if I'm not gonna? The room is not very big. It's just kind of, I wanted the bed to be the focal point and to have just a couple things. I didn't want clutter. And I wanted this room to be a little bit of a different color scheme than the rest of the apartment. The rest of the apartment is very blue. I still like that pink and like girly kind of theme. So I made it a little bit more plush, a little bit more cozy in here. This dresser, um, Actually, I love it so much. Uh, this is from Ikea, and I refurbed it into this dresser you see here. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out up here. I'm very proud of myself. 
The dining room table and chairs did not turn out as well as this. This is my Google Home. Uh, she wakes me up every morning and we have a good relationship. Hey Google, who am I? Your name is Mother. This is my closet and this is the reason I got a dresser in the first place. Because it's not a great closet. It just works. It's nothing to like, you know, write home about, but it, it works for me. Moving on over here, I have my vanity where I sit and do my makeup. A lot of you guys have asked where I got this. This is from Ikea. This, I made this desk, and then I put shelves up next to it um, where I can grab all my makeup. This is my nightstand. It's one of the nesting tables I used as a coffee table in my other place. I got this sconce from Urban Outfitters. It's really inexpensive. I like that you can plug it in. You don't have to hardwire anything. This I ordered from Etsy and couldn't, I was looking at a lot of um, wall hangings and none of them really like kind of spoke to me. And I saw that one and I was like, this is perfect, I need it. And when I got it, it came with a nice note uh, because the person who made it is a, watches my videos. So that was such a nice surprise. Her name's Loom Cat. I'll link her Etsy below. These I got recently and I just love them so much. I think they go with my room really beautifully. This tiered thing is from Ikea. I got these plants and pots at um, just my local nursery. I'm trying my best to keep this one alive, but um, if anyone has any tips on whatever this plant is, please let me know because it's failing me or I'm failing it. Okay, you need to leave now. Right now? Yeah. Like, seriously? Yeah. Can I have a glass of water first? No. Leave right. the camera. That's mine. Okay, but... Um, so, alright, so thanks for watching uh, my cribs. Uh, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. So